I think this is a good opportunity to distinguish between the EU's common position and the position of member states. You know, you have common policies. This is something that is decided on in the European Council at heads of state and government level. And that position has been decided on by the heads of state. The common position is humanitarian pauses. There was not unanimity, there was not agreement at European Council level to support uh, a ceasefire. And then you have uh, common positions but that aren't unique positions. Um, y you know, you can have something in common but then at the same time you can have other opinions as well. So 18 member states, I think it is, 18 member states voted in favor of a ceasefire at the last uh, UN General Assembly. Two against, the rest abstained. So the common position is clear, but then there are other positions. The, the common position uh, isn't a, a, a unique, unique position because you have the position of member states when they have to vote on a specific proposal. And it's not, uh, it's uh, uh, nothing new that Belgium has supported a ceasefire. Others voted in favour of a ceasefire in the UN. Uh, you know, I don't know how many uh, uh, voted in favour this time. Um, uh, the first time round, far fewer voted uh, in favour. I think there were fewer than 10. Let's see what happens when there's another vote to see what the result is. I can't predict that. I'm just describing the common position, and uh, member states can defend uh, something that isn't necessarily contradictory. It's something that's complementary, if you like. It depends on the individual position of member states.